And how are you on this wonderful Thursday morning? It is Thursday, August, um, April 4th, 2024. Here we are. Another beautiful morning. It's a great day. Good morning, Stacy. How are you this morning? How are you feeling today? Hi, Nancy. How are you feeling today? Hi, Joe Tagback. How are you feeling today? It is. Somebody else is there. I can't see your name, but welcome to the morning blessing. Stacy will give us that little quote. So guys, how are we doing today? Hi, Ryan. Good morning. Long time no see you on time today. What a treat. <laughs> how are you guys feeling this morning? It's a little bit damp. We had rain all day yesterday. Welcome to the morning blessings. Thank you, Stace. Because sometimes I forget to say welcome to people who are new and they drop, they drop. It's eight o'clock. Let's start the show. Let's do our blessing. Our vitamin is ready. Today, we need to take our vitamins right now. Let's see what we're going to do. Transforming yourself from inside out. Carl, um, Carl Jung, you guys know about Carl Jung, right? He said, who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakens? That's putting a lot of responsibility on us. So, because he said, let me see. Hi, Lynn. Who, um, who looks inside? Awakens. And, but he said first, who looks outside to transform themselves? Dreams. It's a dream. And who looks inside? Awakens. It's a, tra a self-transformation. That's what Carl Jung said to us. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. How are you guys feeling today? To change what is on the surface, we need to find the source and change things from there. I'm always saying that, especially when I talk about the five pillars of prosperity, I keep telling you guys, when you have a symptom and you go to the doctor, they treat the symptom because all you can say is that, hi, Lynn, good morning. Um, hi, hi, Yuko, good morning. How are you guys feeling today? He says that, well, well, you have a headache, you tell the doctor, he gives you something for the headache. But to change what is on the surface, to change the headache, we need to find the source of the headache and change things from there. When, you, when somebody comes to me and talk about your financial problems, I always have to look to see what's the source of the financial problem. Is it an emotional thing? Is it a spiritual thing? Is it physical or mental they can't work right so we need to always find the source so us to do that so we have to go within beneath the service to the root and everything will change unless we take that and really get to know ourselves to go in there and awaken who am i am i i am not part of a, a of a, what you call it of a pride of lions and even then right they look different. The lion and the lioness are different. One has a mane and one is as clean shaven as ever. So there you go. I found my sauce, my sauce mushroom coffee. Yeah, it, apparently it works for menopause. That's what they say. So it's go to the source. Why are we feeling this way? Why are you acting this way? Why are you thinking this way? Why are you going after things this way? Hi, I'm Kate. Good morning and thank you for joining the morning blessings. You're welcome to be here, just in case you know, still hang around. You, you push that button for a reason. When you notice the, the leaves on your plant is turning brown, when your plant is dying and your the leaves are turning brown, you get anxious. You do not water the brown leaves. You go to the roots and begin to nourish the plants so new leaves will shoot out. That is what we do. Good morning, Melford. How are you feeling this morning? It's nice to see you. Yes, when we notice the leaves on our plant is turning brown, we do not go water the brown leaves. We go in to find and we dig the root, see what it is. Too much water, not enough water, fertilization, sunlight. We do something. That is why Carl Jung said that. Who looks outside dreams. Who looks inside is awakened. That's powerful. What I know for sure is that life, structured from, life is structured from inside out. I know that. We all know that. Our life is structured not from the outside in, but from the inside out. It is the invisible that rules the visible world. In the invisible that rules the visible world. 
What we cannot see is somebody's thought, somebody's intention. That is invisible. But that invisible rules the outside world. It does because it creates things that are either good or bad. So what we know for sure is to go inside and find out why am I behaving this way? Why am I feeling this way? And that is important. Why? Is always knowing why, what do I, what did I eat today that caused my stomach ache? Instead of saying I have a stomach ache. You, so then, and you go, oh, I'll take some tea for the stomach ache. That's treating the symptom. The first thing though is to find out what did I eat or drink today that does not agree with my system. My body doesn't want it. It rejects it. That is part of going inside to find out rather than sitting on the surface and saying, you know what? It's because of the rain I get this. Whenever it rains, I get this. Or whenever the sun shines, it just really messes me up. Why do? The sunshine is, is messing you up. But why? Why is the sunshine messing you up? That is finding the cause to treat it and to, and to break it. I'm still around. Welcome. And you, you come now and again, you come in. Thank you for making your comments on the lives and the reels and whatever I do in my crazy busy world. Thank you. So, therefore, it is, we have to remember, it is the invisible that allows the visible to work. It's the invisible actions we take from inside that allows what is visible to work. It's not the outside that makes the inside. It's the inside that creates the outside. What we take, what we eat, what we think, what we, what we create, what we feel. If, hey, hey, simple, simple, simple. If we feel the breath we take, it's the breath that makes us survive and we're alive. When the breath is gone, the machine just goes in a straight line. Where did the breath come from? Inside of us. They could put breath on the outside. It will not change the inside. And that is what we must remember. It's the inside that affects the outside. It's our thought that affects our life. It's our thoughts that we spill out in words we cannot retract that affects our life, our relationship with others. It's always transformation has to start from the inside out. There is something you do not like about yourself. We have to go in and find the, 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 the source of it. What is it? What is happening? Why am I so interested in doing that? What, what is driving me from my inside to decide? I must wake up tomorrow morning fired up and ready, ready to go. What is that thing you do at night before you go to sleep? That, mo that nighttime practice you have of saying a prayer, saying some people have that short prayer, I've heard it. It's not one I was taught in the Catholic school, but it's, Hi, Tanijay, good morning. Now I lay me down to sleep, Some that one. Um, yes, I pray to God my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I pray to God my soul to take, right? So we have that. Good morning, Arita. How are you feeling this morning? So we already know that. Hi, Taniji and Joy Tabak. How are you guys feeling today? Welcome to the morning blessing. So we already know that our nighttime routines, our nighttime practice, practices affects our morning routines. So if we're looking for transformation, we have to go inside. Just like Carl Jung said, those who, do, those, what did he say? I wrote it down because I read it a long time ago. Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakens? Yeah. Oh, I know why this is happening. That, 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 that is a aha moment, awakeness. I am alive. I know what's causing this. Now I can go look after the cause and live, and the symptom should go away if I take care of the cause. Um, therefore, when we, cont when we contact the invisible, Within ourselves, we contact the great source of everything. From there, all authentic and lasting change can happen. So, so when we go in, and we go in, then we contact, we get into the invisible part of our thoughts, our actions, our behavior, our words, the formation of words. And in, inside of us, when we do that, the great source of everything from there and the authentic and lasting change can happen. So that is when we can change. When we go inside 
and we stand there and we realize what is in there and we bring it out in the open for us to take it apart. We have to open it. When you go for surgery, they don't just treat you from the outside. They open to see what's going on in there. It's we performing surgery on our life, our own thoughts, our behaviors, our attitude. There is something we can do to leave others alone. And that one thing is to concentrate on the most important thing, which is us. If we want to look at ourselves like that, put the effort into transforming what it is we do not like in our life ourselves. It is, we don't have to wait for somebody to say to you, hey, you need to change. We already know. I always used to say, you know what? I know what my faults are. I don't have to admit them to you, but I certainly know what they are and I can work to change them. And what you don't like, you can change, but you have to know them. You cannot know something by judging it from the cover, from the, from the skin, that big organ. As huge as that organ is called the skin, it doesn't give us answers. It just reveals what's happening inside of us. We have, you pick up a book and they tell us, we have so many lessons in life and we lose them. They say, don't judge a book by the cover. Read it, go in there, take it apart, dissect it, highlight it, study it. But the one thing we should do that with, which is ourselves, we seem to forget to do that. We know what to tell others to do, don't we? Oh, you should behave like that. You shouldn't be like that. You should be kind. You should like to hug. You should like... No. So you like to hug. They don't like to hug. Hug, hug the living daylights out of them. They will freeze and oh, they have never been touched that way before to be hugged and to be cherished. But people do not understand that. And if you want to be that person, you have to take the step and walk into it. Never judge a book by its cover. That's right. That's what they said, sis. And yet we do that with human beings and we do that with ourselves. We are not digging. We want to transform. I want to stop gossiping, you say. And then you have to go in, why do I spend time gossiping? Why do I make lies up? Why do I do those things? Ask yourself the question and say, you know what? How can I change gossiping into something different and empowering and amazing? What can I do? You know, it, it doesn't really matter. It's you that have to make the transformation. If you do not like it, if you want to live your life like that, knock yourself out. But you will notice soon that some of that will go away. Shift from trying to control the outside to shifting yourself from the inside out. It's all from inside out. Everything is from inside out. Everything. And we cannot sit there and point fingers at the outside and we believe, oh, well, I am like this because of that happening today. I am like this because of this is happening today. I am crazy because the world is crazy. No. You're choosing to be crazy. You're admitting, you're letting the outside come and ruin your inside. And when you see that outside that is not sweet comes into your inside because you love it and you gave it the key and you soaked it up and you believed it and you did not think and you made no choices for yourself. You, you accept all what came to you without saying, I don't want that. I would prefer not to do this. I'd prefer if you just don't do this to me. That is standing up for yourself. I don't know if Arita is there, but those of you who've been hanging around for a while, Arita, when she got her awakening, she, she, it was her brother that got the first taste of it. And Arita said to me, she said, hey, you know, I was with my brother in the car and, you know, siblings, we give each other money, we do what we have to do to help each other out or whatever the reason was. And she had to give, he had to give her some money back. And because she was sitting in the passenger seat, he tossed the money at her. Brothers do that, we know. What did Arita do? She pushed her body back into the seat and said, Hey, don't do this to me. Pick it up. Don't throw it at me. Pick it up. And the brother looked at her and said, My, you have changed. And Arita said, Yes, I, w I have decided how I need to be treated. And that is important. Arita is saying LOL truth. You have to, to, when you change, as I said, you're going to shock other human beings. The people who are accustomed of 
walking on your toe and squeezing it, putting on their, their what you call it, steel toe shoes and step on you and you always go. It's okay. God will take care of them. God is not going to do this. He gave you free will. Get over that. Stop giving God. If the amount of people that say God is going to take care of things, poor God's hand must be like this. I don't know how he manages it all. But he does. And then they don't see. Remember, he didn't say, I won't help you. He said, ask and I will help you. But when you just say, oh, God will take care of it. Oh, yeah, that is like tossing it in him. That is a Rita's brother. Here. No, I'm not taking it up. You pick it up and hand it to me. And he had to do that. So we are transforming ourselves. And in transformation, you're going to meet those cracks in the pavement that you do not like. When you choose you, siblings, children, everybody, you go, what is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with you. I have changed. I am in a new decade. I'm in a new time. The world is going this way. I prefer to go that way. Nothing is wrong with me. I am choosing to change myself from the inside out. I am telling you what I prefer. I am asking you to treat me with respect. This is how I desire to be treated. And of course, feathers are going to fly. You think they were being plucked by some angry farmer because they're plucked. All their feathers are all over the place. They're going to say, what is wrong with you? You're also, you know what? Sometimes they will get, it might, they, they name when they don't know what to do with me. My siblings call me princess. I don't care. I choose to live my life a certain way. And that, if it, I'm not asking you for a dollar. I'm not asking you for 50 cents for me to do this. I am choosing to do it. I am not telling you, you should emulate me. I am telling you, I prefer to be as I am. I love it. And I do not want to change a stern childhood. I do not want to change. I, in other words, you know what? I am not going to change the rock from which I was cut. And certainly not from the quarry that I was dug from. And that is Isaiah telling us that. Remember the rock from which you were cut. And the quarry from which you were dug, he says. 51, I think chapter 51 of Isaiah. So when somebody wants to change you or to tell you on the outside what you should do, go inside and remember the rock from which you were sliced off and the quarry from where you were dug. It wasn't an ordinary quarry. It wasn't a, a, any old rock. It was a specific rock. And if you came from that, you have something inside of you that you have to realize. I can change the things I do not like about myself or what I am ac ac accepting from others. I am accepting and allowing you to bully me. Therefore, I have a problem inside. I need to go find it out. I need to be thirsty. I need to, I need to quench that need. Why am I allowing people to abuse me? Why am I allowing others to tell me how to choose to live my life? The answer is not from your girlfriend or from me. If you come to me and when you come to me with that, those of you who are here, you know where I send you. Sit in stillness and silence and ask why. Why am I allowing this to happen to me? What is causing it? Good morning, Marina. Thank you. For welcome. So transformation, guys, begins from the inside out. Carl Jung, who looks outside dreams and who looks inside awakens. Therefore, when we contact the invisible within ourselves, we contact the great source of everything. From there, all authentic and lasting change can happen. Remember that. Shift from trying to control the outside to shifting yourself from the inside out. It is, not remain, it, it is not rearranging things on the outside of your life that is going to make a permanent impact. So it's not like getting rid of things that are outside of you. It's you don't like to go there. Then go inside and find out why. And decide because of this, I am not going there. It's re rearranging things on the inside. When you shift on the inside, everything on the outside will shift. Don't throw things at me. Do not talk to me that way. I don't like it. I would prefer this. 
stop abusing me emotionally stop telling me what is wrong with me and then you have to say what why am i allowing this fool to do this to me why am i allowing this my father said to me when you are accepting advice from somebody you know who is more stupid than you you have an issue and you need to find out why when somebody you know for sure does not have the information that you have about a topic or they do not have the knowledge and you are allowing them to give you the advice that you take and when you take that advice you hit your head against that concrete wall you maybe at that time your brain will shake in there and say yeah why did i follow that instruction from this person the question remains, you have to go in and find out why. The why is not outside. The why is not calling your mom, your sister, or your friend. The why is not crying either. The why is not asking God why. The why is inside of you. Go find out why the why. Why did you accept this? You know damn well they don't know better than you. And why do you do that? When you have a relationship, a, a friendship, whether it's male or female friendship, your best friend from kindergarten, your, 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 your soulmate, your lover, all of that. And that person constantly is late and they come strolling in like they just jump out of vogue. In the meantime, you are seething, you're sweating, you're fidgety, and they have been doing it for a long time. But you accept it. Hulk, and your inside is turning into mush. Because you're so upset, but you dare not do that. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I, I haven't been waiting long. I was, uh, come on. Your inside is rebelling. It's saying, really, fool? Don't you know you're angry? Why don't you say it? You know what? I really would prefer if you would respect my time. Or better still, you, you know, of course, when you say you're going to be somewhere at 8 o'clock and you show up at 9 or 8.30, that the energy has left. That you can frighten them into understanding what happens. So, but, but it is affecting you. So you have to do something about it. How? Tell them, if you're going to be late, then call or let's cancel. If you cannot ever make it at seven, why don't we make it at eight? You know what we do? Oh, I'm inviting my family over, but they're going to be late. So I'm telling them it starts at nine. So they'll get there by 10. Or whatever. But I'll tell them it starts at six, so, but it really starts at seven. So they'll, why do that? Let them know. I, one of my nieces is always late for, for dinners. So, and her husband and her one little girl, they're always late, always late. So you know what I, what we do? We just start dinner. And she said, oh, you started without me. I said, well, you know, we start at five. It's six. Very and she, she stopped. She stopped doing that. She said, I better get there. I'm on my way, Nina. That's how she called me. I'm on my way. I'm coming. And, and she, she'll be there. And she'll be there on time. And that is what we have to remember. The transformation that is not from outside. You want it. It's eating you inside. It's hurting you. It's causing you aggr aggr aggravation. You're, you're getting exasperated. And you want to transform that behavior. Why are you accepting it? You have to do it. Think, how can you change it? Go in and say, don't do it because it's affecting you. I, they are fine. You know that. I wish I could get little mini Tesla and give to sit on people's shoulders, taking it there, talking in their hair. <laughs> when I go out and when, when you find me a stage marina for me to preach from, we'll do that. That's my next goal. I will need a stage. <laughs> What do you mean when you say, I want change? You're hoping that your life will be different. That's what you're doing. When you say, I need change, you're, you really are hoping your life would be different. What is it that makes your life the way it is? You have to know, what is it that makes my life how it is? What I'm, it's your fault. It is always your fault. Because you have to go inside and fix what you do not like. When you decide... After you have sat in stillness and silence, that you are no longer going to put up with this, you feel stronger. You feel empowered. 
you're confident and you're truly honoring the rock from which you were cut and the quarry from what which you were dug because the quarry is and the rock is going to say oh no 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 you come from better than that you came from that amazing spectacular piece of rock and that quarry stones from that quarry are one of a kind the minute you do that that is what you will feel you will hear i came from better than that you know you are uh, you, your outside life is a product of your choices made making each moment your outside life is the result of the choices you made in each moment choices in behavior choices in communication and so on and so on and so on and and choices in love that one is the, is the one that shatters us love of our children love of our lover love of our parents love of just being loved choices and then we live that life based on the choices that we have made how your life looks is a reflection of those choices believe it the decisions we make today determines the life we live tomorrow. Every decision we make today, every choice we make, every decision to choose this or that affects our life in the future. Huh. And that is why we need to remain to be consistent in doing the things we desire to do to change our life. It is just as easy to do it and easy not to do it. They both have consequences in the results. If you perpetually do something that's good for you, you will see the result over time. If you consistently do something that's really not working for you, you will also see the results over time. And that is what we, oh, Sasha, oh my God, all the way from Calgary, thank you for dropping in. Whenever you are going to transform yourself, remember you have to start from inside out. Every choice we make has a consequence. It could be good. Choosing to do or choosing not to do, they both have results. You want to lose weight, constantly doing a 10 minute workout, drinking a little more water will give you better results. Constantly not doing it will give you the results. One way or the other, you're going to get a result. What, what it is that creates the quality and clarity of our inner thoughts and emotion? What is it? What is it that creates the quality of our, and clarity of our inner thoughts and emotion? Where do they come from? Inside, inside. Your thoughts and emotions come from your inner state of consciousness, right from your conscious mind. The quality and clarity of your thoughts and emotions are a direct reflection of where you were in the conscious moment. Hmm. Is somebody you gone cuckoo? Completely cuckoo. Because everything that we are is transforming inside out. Nothing from the outside can affect us until we decide to drag it in. Even the cat. Even the cat, what they say about the cat again? The cat dragged it in and he dragged it out again. The cat took it in and he said, no, 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 no. That's not good enough in here. I need to give it back. I need to take it out again. But we know, we keep it. Oh no, and you know, I made my bed. I'm going to lie on it, you fool. You didn't make the bed. That's why you're lying on it. You didn't choose to put who you wanted in that bed. You let whoever chose you show up. You accept it, and now you're looking at the bed and saying, I didn't choose that. Yes, you did. You allow it because you did not actually speak to yourself and say, that is not what I'm looking for in a human being. When I coach young ladies, I don't tell them to answer any whistle like it was in the old days. I tell them, you choose the man. You, you, you make a choice. What it is you want from that person. And if you happen to choose... And it's not good enough. That doesn't mean you have to keep it. I don't believe that if you even believe that God wants you to suffer, 
then why does, did he do it? According to what I'm reading, I paid the price so that you do not have to do it. Why the hell are you doing it over and over again with a Bible under your arm and you're telling me you believe in him? No, you don't. Because you don't believe in what he said. Take it at what he said. Take it as, at the value you see. I paid the price for you. So I have to, since, you know what? They spat on him, they beat him, they stab him, they kick him, they put thorns on his head. And I'm letting you do the same damn thing to me and I'm praying, help me out of this mess. You are out if you choose to go inside and wake up yourself. He who looks outside dreams and he who goes inside awakes in the self. That's what Carl Jung told us and we know that guy was smart. To improve the quality of your life, you must improve the quality of your choices. Hmm. How do you improve the quality of your choices? By being aware of your choices, by going in and deciding on your choices before you go out. I did say, I tell young women, do not answer the whistle. They do the whistling. You be bold. My neighbor, Nancy, doesn't she? worked to a condo. She was my neighbor for 23 years. And there was some really amazing human specimen of human being one summer replacing into locking stones actually for both of us. And she came outside and she said, oh, what a sight for so eyes. Yes, you choose. You admit it is something you like. That too makes you feel good. You know that, right? You do not have to go and join that person, but you have to learn to admire and be in awe of God's creation, all of his creation. So as a young woman, where is your goal setting journal? Your goal setting journal, describe the man you want, the lover, the significant other, male, female, whatever you're into. Describe it and choose that. Instead of when somebody says, hi, I like you, want to go out with me, can I have your number? And you just say, yeah, 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 and you run, and you end up in this bed, and you're wondering, oh my God, did I make a mistake? Hi, Anna, good morning. So transformation, oh, good afternoon. Is it afternoon? Oh, I don't know anymore. Transformation begins from inside out. It does not begin from outside in. So when you are transforming, like I said, those who look outside, not I, Carl Jung said, those who look outside dreams and those who look inside awakens. Isaiah told us that we must remember the rock from which we were cut and the quarry from where that rock was dug. It's unique. And you have, if you know that, then you will know what you should accept in your life or what you, sh what you need to change in your life. I have gone the wrong way. So now I have to go back and recognize that quarry from which I was dug only has specific and amazing pieces of rock. Then the best was chosen and at that I am a slice of the best. Who is your best? Your creator chose you. Like Arita did to her brother. Hey, do not throw it at me. Take it up and hand it to me. Respect the friend that is notoriously late over and over and you're sitting. You have drunk so much water. There's no more room for the meal you're going to share. And you're sitting there and oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay because your inside is boiling over. And you wonder why after you have eaten with that person, you have indigestion. Because you keep covering what you really want to say. Respect me. I would prefer if you came on time just once. If you continue to do this, then it's no point we have dinner together or we go out together. You have to, to change the inside so that you can make the outside shine. And again, as I said, when you see you start to change, feathers are going to fall off your family and friends. They're going to be plucked like an angry farmer plucking a pile of chicken. And when they are plucked and they're running out around naked and the sun is on their skin, they're not happy. That's because you've changed. You have transformed yourself from inside out. And as I said, choose what you want. Be specific. Write it out and work your way to bring it from the outside to the inside. 
So to improve the quality of your life, you must improve the quality of your choices. What do you think about that? So let me see what I am happy and grateful for this morning. Blessing testimony, our blessings, blessing family. Have a great thanks, Lynn. And yes, I'm sure have, I'm so proud of myself. Thank you, Stacy. Transformation happens from within. Love it. Thanks, Amma. Good afternoon, Amma. It's afternoon. Love you, Tessa. Thank you for always giving me the best vitamin and sharing your vision. My, your wisdom. Thank you. I didn't know. I think I bought it. I, there must have been a sale and I got some. Um, Marino, you make me laugh. I know she's galloped up already. I wish I could get the little mini Tessa and gift to sit on people's shoulders taking on their, talking on the air. Um, no. <laughs> like, like my husband said, it's not anybody that can deal with you. He said, it takes a saint. So they might crash and burn Marina, please. That would be hard for some for them to do. Thanks, Stacy. I don't let anyone walk on me like I did in the past time to move forward with my heels. <laughs> I love that. You that's what you have. What did Nancy Sinatra said? This way these boots are made from walking and I'll walk all over you or whatever. Well, there you go. You have what it takes to be an amazing wonderful and spe special human being do not let anybody take it all you have to remember is to awaken yourself from inside out Carl Jung, those who look for that they're dreaming and those who go in that's when you awaken and you say what you like and what you don't like remember i said sometimes when you have an experience acknowledge it you can write it in your book of proof or you can go you know I really love how this makes me feel. I really love how I feel when I do this. And then you know you're on the right track. And that's what you do more of. So if it happens to be telling somebody, don't do this to me, then tell them, don't do this to you. And they'll stop or they'll get angry. And maybe if they go away, then you were giving more to the relationship than you were getting from the relationship. And that too is not even. Everybody should do their best in a relationship, 100%. And this thing about I'm doing my 50%, if I hear this one more time, 50%, you're one hiccup from failure. 49 is not a passing grade, is it? Anyway, let's look at these people that are here. Nancy, Stacy, Amma, Arita, Marina, Lisa, Marina. Okay, you're still here. I thought you had gallop of her. Lisa, Ryan, Kathleen. Hello, sweetie. Sasha and Joyce are back. Amazing people. Don't forget who you are and do not let anybody cloud that. Don't let them put a mask over you and say you're not there. You're not underneath the tub. Like the French say, la pi belle la la bye. The, pretty, the prettiest one is under the tub. Rate it. Lift it up to see what's there. Go in to see what's there. Have a great day. Love you. Talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the Morning Blessing. It is an honor and a privilege to chat. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.